So today we're going to work on some musical theater scaffolding. What we're going to do is start with our lip trill as always and use that abdominal breath. From the abdominal breath, we're going to build on layers of different resonant, resonating spaces that we're going to want to use in that musical theater style. So let's get started. Lip trill first, just your basic arpeggio, getting the abdominal breath set. Remember, you're going to inhale into your lower abs. As you exhale, if you're working on the beginning level singing, your abs are going to come in as you exhale, and by as you exhale, I mean as you're singing. Um, and if you're working that secondary or more advanced level breathing, you're going to inhale, engage the muscles in the lower abdomen to support the sound as you're doing your lip trill. Here we go. today is primarily middle range, so a little bit below the staff, working all the way up to the top of the staff and back down. We're not doing that lifted head space. We are staying in the middle of the in the middle of the range, in the middle of the voice, so that we can build strength in the place that we need it the most for the vast majority of our musical theater repertoire. The first exercise in our scaffolding series today is going to be sung on no! And we put a little cry in the sound and we make it really, really ugly. We're not trying to make angelic sounds here, choirs of angels, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a really forward, nasty sound. So it, it goes like this, no! And we're going to sing the pattern. No, 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 no. the abdominal breath and we layered in that really 
forward resonance space. So now to round out that tone and that sound so it's not hyper character, which by the way, you could leave, for example, if you wanted to do, I don't know, a character like Adelaide's Lament, something like that, where you're singing, the average unmarried female, perfectly insecure, due to some long frustration, may react. You can keep the character voice just where it is nice and forward. But if you want a sound that's a little bit more balanced, the next step in the staff scaffolding process is going to be to add some depth and some lift behind that ugly space. So we're gonna go from no, 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 to no, no, no. We're going for a little bit more full voice singing here. Now, please note that at any step in this series, I am never asking you to sing out of your neck. You're either going really forward, opening up the chest or lifting behind it. Never should you feel a massive amount of tension or pain in and around the larynx. You wanna keep that nice and free and have the work happen elsewhere. So, step two, add the depth and the lift. No, 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 no. level on our scaffolding is to test the work that we've done, particularly in those upper, upper pitches. So we're going to add some repetitions and take out some of those notes on the way back down and do a little bit of a leap down. So here's how that sounds. Remember, we're going to keep the same sound we just had in the last round. So we did that low breath, we did the forward, then we added the depth and the lift. Now we test it all with some repetitions. Here's how that looks. No, no, no.
our time so far today in our workout, living in the middle voice and in a very specific spot, leaving the larynx relatively in the same position. So what we wanna do now is stretch that larynx out, give it an opportunity to rest, to relax, and to help you open up more chest to gain some more depth in that sound. Looks like this. depth and that lift. So we're putting all of these skills together on the next exercise, just on an O through the middle voice. So we're singing. theater favorite, we're going to finish up with the perennial Mommy Made Me Mash My M&Ms. Now this is an exercise I know I've been doing since I was a little child doing community musical theater when I was a kid. Um, and I never really occurred to me, it never really occurred to me why this was such a good exercise. And really what it does is it helps to warm up our, all those articulators. So specifically, we want to work our lips, our tongue, and our cheeks while we're doing this one lots of articulation because in musical theater, I always like to say in musical theater, the noun is the word theater. So it means we must put most of our emphasis on the text because if we don't get the text out, we don't have theater. All right, mommy made me mash my M&Ms. Mommy made me mash my M&Ms.
singing with me today, um, and I hope you learned something, and I hope you got a decent vocal workout. So right now, it'd be a great time to pull out your favorite musical theater song and try it out. See if you found some new spaces and you're nice and warmed up, and if you keep doing this particular video, I'd say at least three times a week, you're gonna see a lot of progress in using the muscles you wanna use, training the muscles you wanna use, so that they can become impactful and very concise and very specific in the way that you use them for singing, specifically that musical theater style. So, I hope to see you next time, and in the meantime, just keep singing.